Ben Cooper TV, sat here with STR. Steve is a football coach, an awesome guy. Coaches kids, coaches adults. Did used to play himself. Did, not a massive level, but I nearly got there. So, working in sport at both the elite level, the amateur level, youth level, I see a lot of patterns, a lot of issues within the sport, both nutritionally, both with diet, hydration, health, the lifestyle. And I'm quite interested to hear uh, Steve's point of view, both from a coach's perspective and a player's perspective. In terms of football, um, maybe not at the, the top clubs, but anything lower than, let's say, the Premier League, uh, you get these stereotypes of we've got to train physically uh, in terms of the training on the pitch and in the gym, but things that are neglected are the nutrition and also uh, the psychology, and the, the coaches don't seem to think that that's impo as important um, to the all-round package, but I think there's certain types of foods that we eat and we don't necessarily know whether they're right or wrong and people don't like to question sports methods. I don't think there is. We've been told that the, the basic meal to have is a certain percentage of carbs, a certain percentage of proteins and fats, but it's not really expanded on the top. No one's distilling that down into the individual component. No, no after having a talk to you on, uh, on my channel, um, you've said tailor it to the individual whereas sure. this is tailored to a footballer you know this is a footballer's diet every footballer should be doing that and and I think that that's wrong like I know I'm different to a lot of other people I can't handle certain foods or I can't eat a certain time before sure. a game sure. and, and and I know if I'm made to eat a pre-match meal with the rest of the team then I'm struggling Football's old fashioned. It's kind of like this don't touch the game, you know, sort of situation. I think with uh, the top, uh, you know, you'll get a Man United or a, a high performance coach that's respected. If they bring new methods in, they'll listen to it. Mm -hmm. um, but the culture in football, not just within nutrition, is, is like don't change it. And, and it's completely wrong. Like, pe I, I believe that you do need to question, like, why do we learn like that or why do we need to do this? Whereas they'll be like, Oh, we've been doing it for ages, so let's just keep doing it. I think I think you like, you get some top footballers um, that are now understanding that as they're getting older, they need to look after their diet. You know, they need to look after their bodies. Sure. So, such as Ryan Giggs, um, Paul Scholes, you know, those type of players really do need to look after their bodies. I've I've interviewed. Um, street footballers like from a street football culture and freestylers yep. from a young age they would just go and eat whatever they want and perform all day long so we're not talking about a footballer that would just train and, and that's it yep. these freestylers would be training for about 8 hours a day wow. or more so it's like non-stop with the ball yeah, yeah. so their physical condition uh, is really good but they do pick up injuries and whatnot. so after speaking to them about their diets they tell me that um, that, that they do now start to pick what foods they're eating, and it's interesting to hear that because I don't think I don't think people actually ask those questions sure. to, to individuals. So as they're getting older, they're now like, well, they won't have fast food, they won't eat processed foods. They'll go to a restaurant to have sort of like you say cooked mm -hmm. or fresh fresh foods, and it's just, it's interesting to hear that that they actually their attitudes changed as they got older. Well, actually, what you should be doing is educating them when they're younger to hopefully prolong that career. Well, hopefully if you're co a coach listening, you can start to say, well, perhaps I personally should be a bit more interested in educating myself so I can actually pass that educational info on to you know, the people that I'm coaching. So, your channel. I did a little video on your channel. What is your channel? My channel is called STR Skill School, so on YouTube. And there'll be links in this video to visit Steve's channel. What's your channel about? Yeah, the channel's all about the mind, body and soul, soul meaning feet, so it's a, a ah, little spin. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So mind, body and soul, so tr training uh, physically, mentally, um, and also just trying to add things in like technique training and little things like product reviews so you could find out what the latest boots so if you love football um, you'll see a lot on my channel also freestyle 
are like freestyle footballers as well. So, so if you like football, head over to Steve's channel.